सर वी आर ऑल अवेयर ऑफ द नीड फॉर फुलफिलिंग आवर कमिटमेंट्स एज फार एज द सेवेंथ फाइव ईयर प्लान इज कंसर्न आई एम श्योर एवरी वन इज ऑल्सो विलिंग टू सेक्रीफाइस फॉर द कॉज ऑफ द कंट्री अ कॉज विच मस्ट ओवर राइड ऑल इंडिविजुअल कॉम्यूनल प्रोविंसियल और इवन पीटी पॉलिटिकल कंसिड्रेशन मनी हैज टू बी फाउंड एंड फाउंड प्राइमरली विद इन आवर ओन बॉर्डर्स फॉर इन द लॉन्ग रन अ नेशन हैज टू स्टैंड ऑन इट्स ओन स्ट्रेंथ द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर हैज देयर फॉर rightly said that everyone rich and poor has to shoulder the great burden if we are to achieve our aims and objectives but while everyone is and must be willing to put his shoulder to the wheel he can only do as much as is commensurate with his strength has that strength been appraised aright and what will be the consequences if the burden is more than any sector can bear para the cost of living has gone up considerably we are told that prices have gone up because the purchasing power of the people has increased has the purchasing power of the people increased pari pasu with the rise in prices i doubt it very much i am not an economist but i did learn that deficit financing will always cause inflation and if that is so the more we go in for deficit financing the higher will soar the prices of commodities women are said to be poor financiers as a woman i admit that with the large majority of my sex i know nothing in regard to the theory of high finance but as a woman i also have to meet household expenditure and i am not at all sure that women do not know how best to make two ends meet but i fear that the present proposals are going to make it very very hard and in fact may make life impossible for those who are poor and the large majority in this country are poor i am glad to read in the papers that kerosene oil has been left out by the finance minister but he is taxing heavily such other things as the poor man needs like cloth sugar tea food grains etc they are not commodities whose prices can be sent up without touching the poor man's purse talking of tea i wonder if something could be done to stop its adulteration para now food cannot continue to be doled out to the poor forever with promises of subsidy whether by rupees 200 crores which the honorable finance minister is going to put aside for supplementing the food needs of the nation or 
by fair price shops production in every sphere is the only answer but an undernourished person can never produce why has the lowest income rate for taxation been lowered to the extent of making life still harder for the poor man i think everybody who has anything to do with expenditure today realizes that rupees 1000 per month for a family is nothing at all take a man who has got to feed himself his wife and three or four children and perhaps his father and mother who are dependent on him how can he possibly pay taxation on this small income para the price of the post card has been raised why the rise in railway fares too is going to hit him the poor sir should be made less poor that should be the objective of every government but i fear greatly that the present budget proposals are going almost the other way in many directions on the assumption of the fulfillment of a plan which might itself indeed break on the rock of finance para sir i have said i do not believe in destructive criticism or at any rate i said i would offer some constructive criticism now there is no one who sympathizes with the finance minister in his efforts to raise money but will be willing to listen to other ways and means which will not hit the poor man quite so hard para instead of raising the post card rate why can not the price of the stamped envelope be raised from 1 rupee to 2 rupees i would not mind even if the cost of the reply post card was raised to 1 rupee but i object strongly to the cost of the single post card whether local or internal being increased i do not know what the yield from such a measure that is raising the cost of the envelope from 1 rupee to 2 rupees will be but i imagine it will not be less than the tax on the post card para i believe i am right in saying that our civil aviation rates are less than those in the world the aeroplane up to date is the rich man's means of conveyance why cannot air fares be raised rather than railway fares sir i may be pardoned for saying so in this house